how to clean an ever hot cooker. Okay, some things you need to know when cleaning an ever hot. The fronts of them are painted, uh, which means they're more difficult to clean. With our oven cleaning process, we can dip the, in the inner door liners uh, and the bottom of the oven, they're stainless steel, so that's, they're easy for us to dip to get clean without scrubbing. The shelves can be stainless steel or aluminium, and the lids on the, the, the seals on the lids can easily snag. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we take off this ring, uh, this square ring on the top plate. Uh, we've got to be careful when we're taking it off not to uh, snag the wires, the cables at the back, you can see them. Uh, and what we do with that is we dip that, that square. Next we have a look uh, at the state of the Everhot before we clean it. You can see this one's quite dirty. Uh, and here I'm looking around the rim because we're going to get that perfectly clean. Uh, it's one of the key points we do. And if you look at this induction hob, you can see it's dirty because we can't see the rings on the, on the glass. Uh, looking at the doors, if you look inside, this uh, oven is, is dirty inside and you can see the bottom plate is dirty as well. And if you look at the door, it's it's pretty dirty that uh, you can see the grease on it. The second thing we do is we take off the inner door liners uh, and it's quite just a case of undoing those nuts. Now this Everhot was an old Everhot which means that the, the, the insulation panels aren't cut perfectly to size like they are on the newer ones uh, so you have to make sure you detach the insulation from the from the plate. Now now we're cleaning the rest of, of the stainless steel with a wet microfiber cloth and uh, we're using pink stuff uh, cleaner cleaning paste uh, and we do on the inner lid here we're, we're actually um, on this in this case we're actually using a brillo pad to uh, shine it up and then we just wipe off the the residue now if if that was really shiny we we would try not to to scratch it and we would have used uh, a wet microfiber cloth and, uh, and uh, astonish solution again. Okay, so these are the bottom plates in the oven. So the, the top one, you can see it's got holes in and the bottom one hasn't. Uh, that's because the, the vent comes up from the bottom oven to the top oven. Okay, and we dip those two. And on the front of the plate, we clean with a wet microfiber cloth and, and either astonish or pink stuff in solution. And you've got to be careful with this because if you use anything harsh, the, the paint comes off very easily. So uh, we do this and I think this is the best way to actually clean that paint. Okay, so here we are, we've uh, taken out the bottom pl plate and underneath are the elements and we, we just brushed this out on the main oven. And I think this is the other oven. Okay, and the same again, the way we're cleaning the stainless steel strips just inside the oven. Uh, we're getting some pink stuff and just rubbing it on. Okay so what we've done here we've brought the panels back in from the dip tank and we're reassembling it so they're quite easy to line up you just uh, put them back in place on, on the doors and then you put the nuts back on and here we are putting the the bottom pl plates of the oven back in. Uh, for the induction hob we've bladed that with a very sharp blade to ensure we, d we didn't scratch it and we are finishing off the the top, trying to get those inner that inner panel clean with a Brillo pad, and this is the Everhot at the end. You can see it's all pretty shiny. Uh, we haven't put the top plate plate back on yet. Uh, to put the the door handles back on, just a case of putting, making sure the washer's in place, and then you, you bend it into like a D. It's, it's it's quite difficult actually, and then put the the uh, handle back in. Okay, so th this is uh, the ever hot at the end. You can see it's all pretty clean. I ideally, I would have uh, liked to change that um, seal as well to make a perfect job. Um, but you can see it's completely different now and it looks a lot better. So that's what it was at the beginning. And this is what it's like at the end. It's all, all nice and shiny. Uh, this is Graham Rogers and this is uh, how we clean the Everhot from being very dirty to making it look pristine. So if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and uh, like, like the video 
and if you want to be notified of further videos please press the the bell notification okay until next time this is Graham Rogers from Oven Gleamers and this is the way the Oven Gleamers network clean ever hots.